Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have another Tobermory. No, sorry, Litchik. Written Ladeik here on my cask and this is the smoky whiskey from the Tobermory distillery uh, which is on the Isle of Mull. And I had a Marsala wood finish, 19 years old from Litchik here on my cask already and it has had 50... 1% ABV and it was just really wonderful and uh, there's a 10 year out on the market which is quite popular and quite good and there's an 18 year old I had as well and this is really a good one uh, and now we see this Lichik 1996 Oloroso cask um, yeah it's 19 years old 46.3 uh, ABV the standard ABV of Burnt Stewart um, for their unchill filtered, uncolored whiskey range from Deanston, Lichik, Bunahaven, Tobermory. Uh, and there's the 42 years old uh, Lichik on the market and uh, costs close to 4,000. And I would like to see a miniature from the distributor. Hello, here on my cask of this one. Yeah. Um, it comes with a uh, wooden box we know from, from other distilleries, uh, from the Tobomori. Uh, and uh, it comes with this purple color. Uh, yeah, mm, that looks different. And there's a, uh, this cap shows a hole on the top so that you can have a look at the uh, shape of, of the Isle of Mull. Looks funny. Uh, there's a small leaflet with the tasting notes, and here this is the bottle showing the the uh, founding date of uh, Tobomori, 1798, so 18th century whiskey distillery. <clears throat> yeah, have a look. Oh, sorry, exact. Ha ha ha! Small batch matured in Oloroso casks. Peat dried malted barley is married with naturally peat infused water from the distillery's private water source. Mm -hmm. Peat infused water. Uh, very often it's said that the water brings the peat aroma to the whiskey. This is, from my personal point of view, not right. If you measure the peat, the fennel content of the barley, then you count in ppms like 35 for the uh, lightly peated isla malts and 55 for the richly peated isla malts and uh, tobomori typically has around the range of 30 i think and if you measure the water coming from a peat moss then you have 0 0.1 or 2 or 3 ppm of phenol levels so the influence is a factor of a hundred less from the water. There are other influences from the water, like uh, the pH level. So there are uh, those uh, acids from the moss, uh, which brings you, well, a better uh, fermentation because the, uh, the yeast strains like the, the acid. Uh, but the taste, the peat tastes from the water mill. Nothing at all. Um, mm -hmm. Matured in superior Oloroso sherry cast, the result is a wonderful peated single malt with an intense smoky flavor, some character. The soft gold color, yes, of this Litchik 1996 glistens before you. The nose is rich with fragrant smoke, toffee caramel, apple, with a hint of mint and a few citrus notes. A wave of crackling peat sets off flavor explosions on the palate. Black pepper then bursts, followed by a light sherry sweetness. Mm -hmm. The Oloroso sherry is completely fermented with no residual sugar. So the Oloroso sherry is typically fruity, not sweet. Well, there might be some sweetness in it if uh, there is a, a substance called Paxaret. This is uh, condensed uh, grape juice uh, 
and this has some sweetness and from time to time some Oloroso sherries are well after maturation in the cask to filling in the bottle added with Paxarat. So I don't think that there is some sweetness there, no. Uh, the finish is smooth with a spicy, salty tail which disappear into the dark as the peaty embers glow into a smoky final. So I was never uh, unsatisfied with a Tobomori whiskey, say the Lichik, the smoky one from the Tobomori distillery. Uh, so there was never a disappointment from the whiskey, so I, I'm able to, to joke about this uh, funny marketing writing in that leaflet um, because I know I will like that. So there's a smoky nose on it, but not that intense. Well, it's 19 years old. It's 1996 up to 2015. Uh, so it's 19 years old, 46.3 ABV, uncolored, unchill filtered. So from the paperwork, it's excellent. And the price is, well, <laughs> in the mid 150s. Uh, quite a price. Uh, but the other one I had, uh, the Marsala finish was in the upper 170s. So the whiskey is really expensive because it's, it's that rare. And this was bottled in 2015 and it's still available. So you can see that the price is at the very top of what the people uh, are willing to pay. But if that price, well, uh, equals the amount of whiskeys available, then the distillery makes the most money out of it. And we can hope that they use the money uh, to fill up their warehouses so that we can have those whiskies in the future in, well, bigger amounts and probably a little bit cheaper. There's a smoky nose on the top, but this smoke is not these stinky hospital phenolic uh, disinfection smoke. No, and it's not the, the bonfire smoke. It's something special. It smells like, yeah, if you burn seaweed. I never smelled burning seaweed, but I imagine that this would be the smell. So there's the sea definitely in this whiskey. And in the back there's a, a cooling note, like this mint they said in the leaflet. But if it's mint, if it's the alcohol, I don't know. No idea. And there are some some fruity aromas from the sherry, definitely. Yeah, but the smoke is dominant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this sweetness in my mouth then the cask kicks in bringing spiciness this peppery note yeah the smoke covers the roof of my mouth yeah a little bit of citrus of distillery character shining through and yeah some salty notes yeah but i once put some salt in a whiskey and uh, I put three or four uh, salt corns in it and it was incredible salty and this one is a hint of salt so it might would be a tenth of one salt corn mm. so it's definitely a remembrance of salt and showing the sea as this smoky burned seaweed imagines still smoky so it's intense smokiness with with some time typically you're able to ignore the smoke and, and smell what's behind it but this aromatic seaweed peat smoke uh, 
saves for long and covers a little bit the Oloroso sherry. Mm -hmm. So this is mouth-watering, second gulp. This is a real masterpiece of a well-balanced, not too smoky whiskey, um, which shows distillery character with this little citrus in the back, as well as the cask showing through with a lightly peppery note in the aftertaste, and uh, yeah, the smoke, for which the lychic, the smoky expression of Tobomori stands for. Yeah. If you can't afford 150 euro dollar pounds whiskey, then the 18 years old goes quite a, a way with this, uh, reaches two thirds of this aromatic um, explosion. And uh, yeah, the Marsala is a little bit more expensive. And if I'm getting a, a sample of this 42 year old Lechik, I will let you know. I won't taste it for my own. I will do this here in front of the camera. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay tuned. There's more to come.